<laughs> you know, the best thing about the power running out on the tower this morning is uh, I get to make a second cup of coffee and show it to you. Meanwhile, it's ripping out there. Big wind, big waves, and no movement at all. Calm, still. Anyway, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the lack of power, <laughs> yeah, we do uh, use reusable K-cups K for the Keurig here. And we do enjoy a good cup of uh, Port City Java. So, while y'all are waking up, getting ready for your day, our plans for today are to eh, probably see if we can get a little bit more ceiling tiles taken care of. Got to pull more of them out. Get ready for when uh, volunteer Mitch comes in, hey Mitch, and works on the ceiling, spraying the foam up there. You can imagine uh, taking a, uh, uh, a ice box, a igloo, or whatever you want to call it, out with you and throwing your food in it and putting no insulation. Well, food wouldn't last very long, it wouldn't stay cold or hot. And um, we got the same thing here. Up above us are just the ceilings. So I will show you that while the coffee finishes up here. In this room, we'll pull them out. You can see. That's what the ceiling looks like. That is the bottom of the helipad. If you ever worry about having enough strength, there's a lot of massive I-beams up there. So it's certainly strong enough. But it also is a little chilly. So put you guys back in here. That's gonna stay so far. Anyway, now that the coffee number two is ready again. First one was just the test coffee, of course. Then um, we'll get it up and get started. Might go get a little bit of sunrise up there. Like I say, the wind's blowing like crazy. Uh, other thing on our list, uh, which you guys get to hear about, is we're gonna replace Old Glory. Old Glory up there is not yet destroyed, which is the whole point. But it's definitely getting worn out. And good folks at uh, Flag and Banner have donated these super high strength flags. And they last, actually they last remarkably well. Give you an idea of the difference I'm talking about on our flags. And I know I've been talking your ear off here. But, um, when we first got the place, we just went to the store and bought a flag. Didn't really think much about it. And then uh, put them up there. There we go. Cheers again. Oh, gosh, that's good coffee. Well, we put the flags up. Didn't think anything about it. And uh, after a few weeks, they'd get worn out, and we'd come put another one up. Well, several years back... We put up a couple flags, one after another. Uh, this first flag, that actually was about, if you can imagine this, that was only about a month in about 20 mile an hour winds. I think it was January, February. The very next month, we put up this flag. Big difference. It still got torn. Same period of time, one month. The reason I leave them up here and we don't retire them is the one on the left, the one that was all destroyed, it was made in China. The one right here, it's made in America. So yeah, it actually does make a difference. You know, I don't mind buying something that's foreign made if it's made better or better priced and it doesn't put us out of work. That's a sticky issue with the tariffs and everything and this is not a political forum. But, you know, buying good quality does matter. Which is why ever since then, like you say the ones uh, that we're getting from Flag and Banner, they last. But enough of me talking. Let's show you what matters out here. There you go. God's beauty. That's gorgeous. Take care, y'all.